Right, just a quick video. I have got the two koi for that friend, which I'm growing on. We've got a ghost koi at the back. That one is stunning. And we've got this koi at the front. I don't know anything about koi. I've, n I've never kept a koi in my life. But that one's I mean, it's quite nice, isn't it? And the, the ghost koi, look at that. Beautiful. But yeah, I'll grow these on, get them to a decent size and you can have them back. I haven't got the facilities for adult koi. But his pond, you know. It'd be nice to keep a couple of koi for a few months. Particularly like that one. Mind you, that one's nice too. Tiny though, they're only about two inches, I think. I mean, that'll soon change. But by that time, it'll be taking them back, so... That won't be my problem. And of course we've got the weather loaches. One there. One there. And front, oh, one there. Do a fantastic job these weather loaches. Couple of random Corridoras. A peppered and a bronze. Coming into shot there. Gotta say I do like Corridoras I must say. Be nice to have like 20 of the fuckers. But yeah, I mean, you can see the difference in size between the, the comets and the coys, but I mean, that's going to change pretty rapidly. In my stomach. Particularly fascinated with that one. Metallic, you know. But that one, yeah, nice fish. Anyway, just a quick video. Of course, both the goldfish are dropping their guts as usual. Like I said before, all they do is fucking shit. Excuse my language, but I mean, sometimes. See the piles? I just run the hoover over it each day. Gets it up. Ain't a problem, really. But it's a bit like plecostomus. All they do is uh, have a backwards evacuation. <laughs> 